<laughs> Good afternoon. Um, welcome. Got it done on time this time. Um, this is my daily chat, my Facebook Live, um, which will be on YouTube later on. I'll tell you about that later on. And this is episode number 555. And the topic today is relationship and partnership. What's the difference? And I'm speaking about this because I'm actually at um, Pact International, Alison Armstrong's um, organization, basically, uh, basically enjoying the Pax Mastery and Leadership Weekend that gets a staff this weekend, which is wonderful. And something I shared this morning that inspired this talk. So I'm going to talk about partnership versus relationship, or partnership and relationship. But before I do that, I introduce myself, and excuse the handhold, I didn't bring a tripod with me because I didn't plan on doing this, but I, it's five o'clock, I've got to do my talk. So. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance and create balance in life, love, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day now, for well, for two years I've been doing this broadcast, but for about, ten, about a year and ten months, I've done these daily talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today is, number, is episode number 555, every day. And so the topic today, again, is relationship and partnership. What's the difference? And something was shared today earlier in the day, and I'm speaking from the event. So that's the reason I'm in the hotel. That's the reason why I don't have a tripod. That's why I'm not set up with my lights. This is basically in the hallway in the hotel. Um, as you can see, that's like downstairs below me, over there. So I had to find a quiet spot to do this. So the question today, what I'm talking about today, is relationship and partnership. Almost relationship versus partnership because for the longest time I realized now I hadn't really used the term partnership when it came to romantic relationships basically as someone said today and what inspired this talk partnership was a business co-opted term for financial and legal agreement type stuff but the thing is what was powerful what this woman shared in the in the event because I'm borrowing I'm using her talk as a, her, using her share as an inspiration for my talk so just you know it's not my original thought just to be clear um, basically she said that partnership is a choice and partnership is actually I've got to find my notes because this is now I want to share what she said because I wrote some notes down on this excuse me a second I've got my cliff notes here <laughs> alright so um, there we go this is, this is the key statement I want to make partnership is chosen it's not innate so you could be in a relationship that isn't a partnership but if you want a partnership you 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 um, Unless they have to, you be best focused on creating partnership. Now, what does that mean? Partnership is basically an all-in agreement to work together to the best of your ability and to honor each other's spaces. Relationships aren't always this way. This is the reason I'm saying it this way because relationship for a lot of people has a lot of um, how about it's a nice way missing elements. Partnership brings another level of integrity, communication, honesty, connection, responsibility, trust, autonomy, yes, autonomy, and understanding. So you may guess I'm already leaning towards partnership as a good term. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, because of what I said this morning, I agree with what, the, what, what this participant shared, that we want to bring partnership back into the romantic conversation too, because partnership is something that people forget to do in relationship. And it sounds so simplistic, but so many people get into a relationship to get comfortable, to be relaxed, for the great sex perhaps, but not necessarily to create a full-on, committed, 100%, 100% uh, partnership in the relationship. I am a proponent <laughs> of partnership being something that's intentional, that's created, that's a conversation between two partners, two partners, that want to form a partnership in their relationship that has a level of... Um, magic about it but also of integrity because again partnership is about if you look at partnerships in business oftentimes they're equal partners but relationships aren't often that way which is why I think partnership is a useful term to bring into relationship because partnership in, in romantic experience is also a possibility for equal respect equal autonomy equal um, balance for want of a better word and so this this is going to be a brief one because I've actually got to get back in the room to a few minutes. So this is a shorter talk than usual, but I want to keep my commitment. Daily talk every day, Facebook Live, 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is what I'm doing. Um, 
the recognition for me is that too many people have dropped the term partnership from their relationships and I'm saying as a stand as a declaration that partnership is a vital part of relationship because when you have partnership you, you um, elevate beyond just basic relationship you actually become more able to connect and communicate from a much more um, respectful place for each other and for yourselves a lot of people in a relationship make bad choices whoops I'm cutting it out I think I'm cutting it now. Let's see how that works. I'm, unfortunately, I don't know how good the signal is here. Hopefully, it's coming out okay. Um, that's another reason why I'm doing this as a short broadcast because I don't want to tax my phone or the network here that's so weak. Welcome to hotel life. Um, so, bottom line is this you can have a relationship anytime you want, but a partnership involves, requires, and invites two people to step up to the plate on equal footing from a deeper, more authentic, more powerful place. And that's simply my message to share as an inspiration, as a nudge, as a reminder of what's possible in a relationship. So with that being said, I'm gonna sign off now because I can see my phone's getting a bit squirrely with the video. So this is a Facebook Live that goes onto YouTube, and then onto my podcast, I'll give you the links very quickly for that. Um, Facebook Live, you can watch my replays on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. You can also find my broadcasts on YouTube where you go to after that and if you go to my channel which is Barry Selby and subscribe to it there's a playlist in there called Messages from the Masculine and thirdly I am building up slowly but surely my podcast and that is Messages from the Masculine on iTunes you can subscribe to that and you can download the audios of my uh, replays of my talks um, especially when you can't look at the screen you're driving or something or something else so this will help you with that so my question for you and I would like to have your feedback in, this, in, the, com in the comments is what does partnership mean to you particularly in the romantic setting. I've given you some of my thoughts about it, but I'd love to hear from you what your views, thoughts, and ideas are about a relationship that is a partnership and, and what that means to you. It means equality, it means something else. Let me know in the comments. And with that, I'm going to sign off because I'm going to get back in the room. Again, I'm, I'm broadcasting live from <laughs> the Sheridan Gateway Hotel at the PAX International uh, Mastery and Leadership Weekend with uh, Alison Armstrong, which I'm loving being part of, to witness. I'm actually starting, I'm not taking. So um, I'll get back in the room because we're doing some fun stuff now. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.